Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a watermark stamp brush in Photoshop that you can use to watermark your photos in any color you want. Um, you can also reduce the opacity as well. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to be showing you how to make these. The first thing you can do, you can either use a logo or you can use a text file. So I'm going to start by showing you how to do this with a logo. So I'm going to put my logo in here. And once you have your logo in Photoshop, you want to go ahead and go to Select All. And this will put marching ants, a marching ant look, around your photo. Well, actually, around your watermark. And then we're going to go ahead and we are going to go under the Edit menu. And we're going to do Define Brush Preset. And when you do this, you'll see it pops open right there. And you can go ahead and name your brush whatever you want. So I can call it MCP Logo. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Then I'm going to click Control D to deselect. And I'm actually done with this at this point. I'm going to also show you how to do this with a text file. So we would go New. The widest and biggest logo that you would want to make is 2500 width. But you don't need to go that big. I'll go ahead and do 2500 for this. And if you're going to use it on high res, you can go as high as 300 pixels per inch. And you would type the name of your company or whatever you want your watermark to say, or if you even want it to say something like the word proof. And you want to make sure your text is black. So we're going to click right here on the text tools, text color. And we're going to go ahead and pick black. So I'm going to come way down here, and pick black, and click OK. Then I'm going to type my text. So I could type MCP actions or just MCP multiple choices photography, whatever I wanted to do. I just highlighted it over it and I'm going to change the size a little bit bigger and click the check mark. You'll see it's off the canvas right now so I need to just once it, I accept the change with that check mark at the top I just go ahead and I move it in using my move tool. It doesn't really matter where I put it on the page because we're going to lasso it using the marquee tool. So now I'm going to use the square marquee tool right here. Make sure your feather is set at zero and come in here and marquee the text that you want to use for your watermark. Once you have it marqueed, same thing as before, we're going to go under Edit, Define Brush Preset. And you'll see again, you can kind of see it looks smushed up in there, but it's not really smushed. And I'll write MCP Actions Watermark and click OK. Once you've done that, you can either deselect or just let go of it. I'm going to move that out. Now they are going to be in the brush palette. So let's go ahead and move a picture in. And I'm going to show you how to use them. You're going to click on your brush and we need to go find them. And in your brush palette, you'll want to have it say the name. So click on the little arrow right here and you'll want to have it say small list so you can find it easily. You're going to go down in your brush palette and whatever you do will be the last ones. So you'll see MCP logo and MCP actions watermark. So if I take the watermark right here, it's going to paint with whatever my foreground color is. So right now my foreground color is white. And I'm going to actually make my opacity up at 100%. And if we want, we can actually put it on a new layer, which will actually give us more control as well. So if you do Control or Command, Shift, and the letter N, you'll get a new blank layer. And I can stamp it on at 100%. And then if I want to fade it, this way I've got a little bit more control of how much it fades, I can change the opacity in the Layers palette to make it more or less opaque. And I can stamp this on anywhere I want it or multiple places. And again, change the opacity to taste. That would be using a white brush. <clears throat> if I can, also I can change my text, um, my stamp to black, and I could stamp it on black or any other color I choose. So you can see right now I'm making a mess of my picture. Um, so I can actually go ahead and throw that in the trash can. And now I'm going to do again Control Shift N or Command Shift N on a Mac to make my duplicate layer. And this time I'm going to go ahead and use that circle watermark. So I click on MCP logo and I come in here and I can stamp it on. And again, because I've done it on a duplicate layer, I can change the opacity to taste. So we can go as low or as high. You can also make this colors, any color you want. If you wanted to make it, for example, red, I'll just go ahead and stamp it red on her and so on. So it gives you a lot of control and it makes it really easy. Now, if you decide down the road that you don't like your brush that you made anymore and you want to name another one with that same name, just come in here and if you right click, you can click delete brush and it'll say delete brush and just click OK and it'll be gone. 
So that's really all there is to it. I hope you have fun making your watermarks and enjoy this tutorial. This is Jody from mcpactions.com. Thank you.